got it? Who needs a red one? Dad, get the nut. He's gonna throw it out. He's gonna throw it out. Oh, he's not red. Why do you look right. red in the water? Yeah. Here he goes. All right, got him. on this gold slab. Okay, I, now it's my turn to see if I can get across. If I slip, I'm going to be getting wet. And I'm at 13,200 feet. And I really don't want to be wet. I can see rainbows and brooks swimming down there. I just saw a few minutes ago minimum 24 inch biggest rainbow cut cut rainbow i've ever seen in my lifetime ever and there goes one right there about 12 but the one i saw and then i saw a brookie that was at least 20 come swimming by deep deep dark red we're seeing a lot of fish in the water here we're catching a few we're going to take a break here for lunch I don't want to slip on this ice shelf here. I want to hopefully I can make it across. Oh, it's not fun. I don't want to fall down. If I fall down, I'll probably slide on down into the ice. The only thing holding me up here right now is my footing. Oh, oh, that's not fun. <clears throat> that is not fun. I'll be glad to get off of this. If I, yeah, if I fall down on my rear end, I will be sliding. I go across Rachel's footprints. There we go. Now if I slide, I'll hit up, I'll just land down there in the dirt. <sighs> oh, it's slippery. This Alpine Lake is absolutely Full of fish. And Rachel wants me to come over here and look at another alpine lake. I've seen the most beautiful fish I've ever seen in my life. I call them brookies. They're deep, deep dark red and they are big swimming by. Haven't been able to catch any yet. They chase the lures. They like what they see when it comes by them. They turn around, they chase after it, and they kind of bite at it a little bit. I've had several of them bite the lure, but not take the hook, but it's just a matter of time. With the cut bows, and rainbows, catching quite a few of those. But the one cut bow that I saw right over there, off that ice shelf, right in that shallow water, came swimming by, was an absolute monster. Absolutely, I've never seen a fish that big in my life. It was huge. It's the middle of the day. 
we picked a good weather day as you can see no afternoon storms it's supposed to be zero chance of rain today is why we picked this day a little windy but manageable and we are going to get after it they are hitting the surface like crazy i am just now getting into fly fishing I know if we knew what we were doing as fly fishermen, we would have absolutely slaughtered them today. We would have caught more brooks and cutthroat rainbow than they can imagine. They were hitting the surface all in front of us. We could see them hitting the surface. And this morning, about, about three hours ago. So we're learning. This won't be my last time up here to this Alpine Lake. I wanted to show you what we fished this morning. We fished along that side right there, real steep, jagged. We had a mountain goaded across there. Didn't fall in, was able to stay on the big rocks. We caught several fish along there. We could see them swimming right along the edge of the shoreline. There's where we walked across the uh, snow, snow shelf. A lot of fun, pretty steep. Well, you can't see it, but down through that valley, down through that valley there around, there's a mountain over there, probably a mile and a half away, and our ATV is sitting up there all by itself, waiting on us when we get back, and then we can come down off top of this mountain. We're about 13,003, 13,002 in elevation, Alpine Lake, and this is the lure that I'm using. A little mental type lure caught quite a few on it but they are really really chasing it and they bump it but they're just not being fully committed but very very interested so if i had the right lure but i'm learning and i think i got it figured out if i had the right lure i'd be catching fish every cast there's just too many fish in here they're just swimming everywhere you see them swimming right by you and so this is a learning experience for me I will be back and I'll have the right equipment and it will be a lot of fun. I will be catching fish after fish after fish. There's just way too many fish in here. I mean, they were chasing it, biting it, and finally he grabbed it. Got him. Hey, I don't know how big he is. In the net. This is the lure. Almost every cast, I am catching one. Almost every cast in this lure. I think it's the red because we've been fishing other small spoons and spotted like rainbow colored, different colored ones. This red is, we just put this on just now. It's a, uh, that color. I think it's the reds what's doing it. And this is the uh, eighth ounce. Eighth ounce buoyant Thomas. Anyway, here we are. I'm just catching one after the other. They're not really large, not in the big, but they are a blast to catch. And we're going to go catch us another one. Three little cut bows. See the red on the bottom of their gill, bottom of their jaw? The red, from what I understand, that's the cut bow. Different than the regular rainbow. Got the red on. Gonna let this guy go and get bigger like the one I saw earlier that was about between 25 and 30 inches long. Was a monster. Got him. In the net. Real pretty. That red, red on the bottom of them, that's not like the ones we were catching in the San Miguel River yesterday. These uh, got the red on the gills. Cut, like this, that's why they're called the cut bows. I'm gonna put him back in there. Fun to catch. Hey, buddy, take off. There's three or four of them at a time chasing our lures in. 
We'll have one on the lure, fighting him. Got one. Yeah, we got another one here. Hit him up here to the shore. Rachel's got one here on. Get him up here to the shore. All right. There he is. In the net. All right. Good job. Throw it again. There's another real pretty one. Beautiful. Really pretty. All of a sudden, I think they've really started biting. And now we're waiting, waiting on the uh, the big boys to start feeding that we've been seeing. Get him out of that net. There you go, buddy. There he goes. Water's real clear. We have been seeing some absolute monsters swim by us. And we're just waiting for them for, for some reason to all of a sudden get hungry. In this presentation, we've tried everything in the box. Everything we got. And this Panther Martins, she's using Panther Martin with red. We're, we're uh, realizing that we're catching more on lures that have red on them. Quite a bit of red is, uh, is a ticket. So we will see what we can do now catching some more. We just got one in the net and Rachel has hooked another one. And she's bringing him in right off the front of this snow melt right there. In the net again. <laughs> All right. All right. Let him go. Nice little cut bow. Look at the red on the gill. Right under the jaw. Watch him go in the water. There we go. Put this guy back in water. Oh, he's ready to go. There he goes. Beautiful. Steep bank over there because we didn't be out of the wind, but I caught a few there and then we stopped catching them, so decided to move over here. And the wind's not too bad. Oh, I got him right here. Right up front. That's a pretty one. Get him in the net. Get him in the net. There we go. Wow, look at that one. Look at that belly. That one has an orange belly on him. Oh, he is gorgeous. Beautiful fish. Wow, look at the orange on this guy. That is beautiful. These alpine lake trout are a lot different than the ones down in the lower valleys rivers. These have a lot more color to them. <laughs> that is going to get away. All right, hooked another one. Rachel's going to net this one for me. Oh, that's pretty. There's one swimming right there below him. back into the deep we are going to try to make it to that shoreline over there and fish that but we're not going to walk across the uh, small glacier we're going to go up and above and around it because it's pretty deep right here and if we slide into that we can swim out of it but we're going to be cold for the next couple hours getting off this mountain, so we're not going to take the chance. So we're headed up over the top where Rachel just went. So that's where I'm headed.
from my geology class. I think this is what they call talus. Angle of repose. Any steeper, any steeper, and it'd, it'd go down the mountain. And I don't want to go with it. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Talus rock. Huh. Whoa. I'm gonna stay off the snow. There we go. Oh, that was exciting. She's seeing big ones and right here swimming. He's right there. Oh, he's not big though. Oh, Rachel got one here. Oh, that is a good one. That's pretty good size. He came off. He's not big. Another rainbow. Let's watch him swim off in the shadows. Oh, he took off. Yeah, he's... Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that guy. Next. He is gorgeous. Absolutely wow, gorgeous. that is red. These are the prettiest ones I've ever caught in my life. These, uh, I guess they're called cut bows. They're really bright red. Uh, red's my favorite color. That is red. That is red. I have never caught fish that red before. I guess this is cut bows. I always like to get my hands wet. They have a, they have a protective slime on these fish. And if you get them with dry hands or if you let them get up on the bank, that's why I always net my fish. You don't want to wipe that protective slime off of them. Keep your hands wet first before you handle them. That is pretty. All right, we're gonna get him back in the water. We don't want to overstress the fish. Man, he is gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous fish. Here. That is so cool. You put that on your pole. I'm, I'm fishing something else. You try the minnow then. Catch one of them red ones. I want you to try the minnow. I'm gonna try the minnow and catch a big red one. Oh. They're small, but they're fun. This yeah, one? yeah, 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 yeah. Or this one or the tiny one? Let me try this one. No, I just landed another one. And I gotta hurry and get this one back in the water because I think Rachel's fixing a hook one. Slimy, slimy. Look if I can hang on to his head. Finger in his mouth. There we go. Beautiful alpine lake. Rainbow. All right, there you go, swim off. Oh, fast. Rachel's got one here. Bring him in and do the net. Hang on to him. Yeah, you net him. Good job. All right. Oh, yeah. He's pretty. He's a good size. He's about an inch longer. Yeah. Right there. We've got a ways to go. That is a alpine lake. Rainbow. Rainbow. Huh? That's not a rainbow. What is that? I think that's a brook or a brown. Here we are at a beautiful part of the lake that we've been trying to get to. I think Rachel's going to catch one here. I'm just going to video one. Man, 
nice beautiful ice shelves. I'm seeing fish hit the surface right in front of the phones. Windy. We moved down here to this end of the lake. Uh, we knew it was wind, this was on the windy side. But I don't think the fish care. And it's not cold. We got jackets on. It would be, it would be cool if we didn't have jackets on, but perfectly fine climate wise, temperature. Oh, she got one. They are so much, they're so much fun. They're so pretty. There you go. See, it's gonna go. It's gonna flop. They don't flop when you tell them to. Well, that's about as far as we can go. We are not going to walk across that ice, snow. Because we do not want to fall into this water here if we slip. But I can tell you, we are from Dallas and it is 104 degrees right now in Dallas. And this is not Dallas. This is really cool. And we need to head back. It's been a good day. We've caught a lot of fish. And now, there's Rachel. We gotta head down. It's gonna take about two hours to get down off the mountain down where the truck is. So we don't wanna do it in the dark. You know, the fishing might be good right close to dark. That put us right down in the dark. I really don't wanna do that. We are headed back to our four-wheeler, which is about a... She's just spotted a big, big red. Another big red one, 20 inch and bigger and smaller. But we've got to get back down off the mountain. We don't want to spend the night up here. Then we got one last glacier to cross. And here we go. If we slide off, we'll slide off into there, be wet all the way home. So we're hoping, hoping that we don't. Here we go. little bit scary <sighs> came down off of that oh what a beautiful lake alpine lake 13,000 plus or minus full of fish we did best we could we caught a, I don't know how many we lost track how many fish we caught but I had a blast, a lot of fun catching them. Some beautiful fish I've never caught before with so much red on them. Of course, I've never been this high before fishing for trout. So I'm, I definitely will be back. And I'm gonna bring the fly rod next time. I think we've done a lot better fly fishing than lure, using lures. They Almost every time we'd reel it in, four or five of them be chasing it. I wanted to be chasing it. They would bump it and bump it. And then every once in a while, one of them would grab it and we'd catch him. So a lot of activity. L saw lots of fish. Great day. A lot of fun. But we got to get back before it gets dark on us. Yeah, that's a pretty red one. I was not doing my job. That's a, that's a cut bow. Red one. Yep. That's you got all it? I wanted. 
That's all I wanted. It's just this one. This pretty red one. They got the gills are weird to yeah. me. I, guess I'm I not think a, it's high alpine fish. They got really red gills. I cut those. I guess that's why they call them that. This is a beautiful fish. Yes, it is. Well, we're gonna call. We're gonna call it a day. We've had a lot of fun today up here at Alpine Lake Fishing. Hope you enjoyed the video. And Rachel just hooked one right. We were just fixing to leave. I said, let's go. She said, one more cast. And I said, okay. And she got a real pretty red cut bow. And she is tickled to death. Hold him up and let's see the bottom. Oh, yes. Look at the red on that thing. And the gills. That's definitely a cut bow. Beautiful fish. Well, this is the end of the day. We've had a lot of fun today, it's Alpine Lake fishing. We really enjoy fishing, of course, but we also like to provide these videos for you to enjoy, to watch. And Rachel just caught one, and we just fixing to leave. Beautiful red cut rainbow. So we appreciate you watching our videos and subscribing to our channel and give us many likes. And to Mike and Rick Outdoors Fishing with Mike and Rick Outdoors, we really appreciate it. We're gonna provide a lot more of these videos. We're gonna be spending a lot more time on this Alpine Lake fishing and catch these fish we saw a lot of fish today so we appreciate you'd like and subscribe and we'll try to provide as many videos as we can for you to enjoy to watch as much as we enjoy them also so appreciate it thank you very much we're on our way back we just took our chances going across this now if we'd have slipped and fallen here's what we, we would have ended up right here keep on going down and it drops off right there. I don't know how far the drop off is. It keeps right on going down the canyon. Right up there at the top is our four wheeler. That's where we're headed, we're almost there. So there's a four wheeler and beautiful view. I guess that's iron ore. Must be iron in the soil, the red coloring. Yeah, but that was a rush. That was uh, kind of scary. We didn't know if the snow was gonna give way or not, but we made it across.